Hi fellow Capricorns, if you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support. My name is Steph. We're going to reveal uh, a bookmark ink blot made in your name and essence. As well, we'll add on tarot and oracle. And we have here where the ghost gif is. We're going to be utilizing ghost tube seer for visual inspiration should anything arise. Uh, note, as I was uh, preparing here, a horse came up with a possible path. Um, a person riding a horse. So if that means anything to you or setting the stage. Cabbies, you know the drill. I'm going to take a moment here to open up. You're welcome to join me, or you can fast forward through a few moments, whatever feels good to you. Taking a nice big breath, closing the eyes, cleansing the palate of perception, releasing the race and the rush, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support in the name and to honor of the Capricorn Collective. Cappies, as always, thank you so much for being my muse, for holding space for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your and my aura. All right, let's get ready for the reveal. Little, little fun action here, little Pulp Fiction suitcase opening up with the light. Ta-da! We'll grab the Capricorn scroll. I'm also going to grab a rune, a rune or two. All right, perfect. Hope you, hopefully you are doing well. So if you want to get started on uh, what a squirrel may mean to you or the energy of that. Oh, and look at this. And then we also have the horse as spoken in the beginning with movement. That's fantastic. All right. The reveal. The reveal. Capricorns. Here is your ink blot bookmark. You know the drill. If anything stands out to you, please see, sense, and feel for yourself versus listening to my yammerings, but I do appreciate the space being held. Okay, so I'm looking up, and I'm, I'm almost like a jest, jester, jester feel. And you know, like in a cartoon, if somebody's really excited, or one of the puppets or the cartoon characters really excited, it's like, whoa. Or in the the movie The Mask, so that was helpful. And he's like, Booga. and but like his eyes pop out, the eyebrows, and there's like this stage of that's what it feels like. But it's like it's going up, like wow. And I feel like you're going up. There's some sort of you're looking up, you're thinking up, and it feels positive, like up, up and away, up, up and away. There's like a smile. It's funny because it's like you have two two faces and I'm not saying this in a way of two face. It's I feel like it depends where I'm at. So it's like a smile and then it's almost like a straight uh, calmness. So I feel like as you're you're going up or rising up or whatever in whatever context this may be and what's personal for you or professional. Yeah. See, so even like there's fire in there. You've been dreaming about something. You also might be doing something in your room and there's something about uh, spirit sleep specifically looking. Okay. And so, and there are, they're like gargoyle bats. They're, I feel like they're very protective and it's also bringing me into, and sorry if I'm wandering off track, but if you're here, you're used to it. So I don't need to apologize, but I do apologize. It's like I'm, or maybe you have been feeling, depending on your intuitive notion, intellectual, esoteric, etc. Esoteric to exoteric, exoteric, can't speak today. Uh, you might have been feeling like you've moved through the initiation of fire and are moving into the initiation of water. Yeah, I feel like it's water. Or you, so maybe you're in more a water feeling. Okay, that's... But there's still something about honoring the fire, like the the water doesn't, uh, hopefully in the alchemy that I feel like you're utilizing, the water is not putting your fire out. Does that make sense? So, but there's some sort of, I, I'm just going to say like initiation, I don't know what it is, but things are looking up, looking up, eyebrow raising, I don't know what this is in relation to, but it's raising eyebrows, other people's eyebrows. There might be a little bit of like a, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but I feel like it's very positive. This is the movement, like even moving the face. Maybe you're very animated like I am in the face. But then here's the beauty of the the balance. I don't want to call it polarity, but the balance. It's like even I can be very, and I am, if you're here, I'm very animated and I'm, 
you know, ridiculous at times and that's fine. But the, where that freedom comes from or the energy to express and, and, um, kind of exalted out is from like seriousness that is usually hidden. And I think that's why it's bringing me into more of like this initi initiation of fire and water, because it's like something that you've been working on in. Okay. So it's not hmm, subconsciously and in the silent space, people maybe don't see it or it hasn't been expressed fully. You might be, have been like tasting or testing the waters. Cause I'm seeing somebody like test like a pH test of um, of a pool or something like that. And maybe you're even just noticing your own pH for homeostasis and what adds and what takes away type thing. So it feels like that's a balance of, like I said, fire and water, having a sense of humor, but also being very, your, your humor might also be healing. And who is this? Who is this coming up here? See, there's, okay, you're being invited. You're being invited to go through this eye. Maybe you have some sort of association with Odin. Uh, also, Archangel Gabriel's coming through. And the Golden God. The Golden God. I don't know what that means at all, but I'm going to leave that there. All right, Capricorn's moving on up. I'm being drawn. There's something about your nose. Somebody might have had a stuffy nose because I'm seeing like, uh, you know, eyes when you're not feeling well. It's kind of like, and maybe you've had some stuffy noses. Sorry, give me a moment. Something about the creases. And I don't know if this is a smile thing, if there's been four smile situations or uh, even dimples. You know, what's weird is I'm seeing like, you know, between the lip and the nose, like that little jajant thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm seeing that. I'm also seeing a feminine energy. I don't know if it's a doll. So you might be tap dancing. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. That's what I'm doing. I'm sweating. Maybe you're dancing. Even uh, like when I'm seeing like the sinuses dripping, like sweating it out. But everything's asking me to, to, to move up. I feel tired here. It's funny because it's, again, it's like this. I want to... Mm, Humanly, I want to say it's polarities, which is fair enough, right? There's this happiness, seriousness. I shouldn't say serious isn't happy because I feel like that's also a happy place. Stern and silly. Movement, but I'm sick and tired. But this is actually like what seems to have uh, pushed being sick and tired of sick and tired. So I made the tough changes, especially if there's somebody with like family around, because suddenly I'm seeing a lot of busyness around. Now it could be business and there's people around or busyness, like of a, of a family dynamic or whatever the case is. And I come from a large family, right? Oldest of five. So I understand that. But I feel like at some point in time, I've, I've put up with something and I don't mean put up in such a nasty way, but I feel as though I've been doing something, trying to be tolerable yeah have a high sense of tolerance I saw you flip out that's fine I'll take you see if I can find you if if it's still there um and I'm just like hey you know what this isn't actually working the sacrifice for how do I say that it's just making me tired but Capricorns, this is like you're tired of being sick and tired. So you do something about it. And maybe you finally have that conversation with your family and say, okay, guys, I am doing my best. Or maybe it's your business. I'm doing my best to hear you all accommodate, you know, the human resources of it all. You know, but throw me a freaking bone. <laughs> throw me a freaking bone. And uh, can we slow things down a little bit somehow? Maybe it's the calendar or... Um, 
if there's like a playroom or another living room or another space that they can go and be loud because it just might not be in your space. But then I want to be, no, I'm not trying to be, you know, cold Capricornia here. I also like hearing it. I like hearing the play. I like hearing the laughter and I like hearing the fun and whatever the busyness is of personal or professional. But I can't, I feel like I, I, I didn't want to say can't. I feel I need to be mindful of my immersion state in it has limits that are the best for everybody for, for me to listen to. Yeah, I'm going to leave that out there. Okay, so you had some cards that came out here if you want to take a look. Uh, protection, Black Hat, Spider, Journey, and Pumpkin. And I'll dig in a little bit more in a moment, but I just want to know, especially with the movement of the Rune card and that movement coming in here of like sweat into the oldies, kind of feel or like, I don't know what people do nowadays. I want to say like, uh, you no, know, see, it was like Tybo or something. I don't know, coming through, but movement and having fun doing that. There's something that you're, it's like with the squirrel, there's a lot of energy, right? When they're playing, but they're doing, they're having that play. They're going out on these journeys. They're, they're choosing these paths that they're going to take along the wires and the houses and this, that, or the other for the future. So I feel like there is some sort of wisdom that you're really working with that is re reserving. I don't want to say holding back. It's just, you know, if I have 10 nuts that you've collected over the day or little gifts of energy, you're going to put one away for either that self-care time, for uh, that yoga class, dance class, martial arts, or you're going frisbee golfing I don't know what it is something extracurricular but it's not extra necessarily because it feels like it's uh, very important because as you're moving up I don't know up in any respect this is going to become clearer it's like making a reservation at a restaurant you've reserved the space. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like I've res when you res make a reservation at a restaurant, you're committing to that time and your, your day or your energy prepares the efforts needed to get there, drive there, park, whatever the case is and enjoy that meal. So when I was saying holding back, it wasn't holding back. It's like, I'm reserving, I'm making a reservation to recalibrate and really speak not it's not domineering but I feel like I again I feel like I have been very tolerable and that maybe hasn't been great maybe like lowering the tolerance bar a little bit lowering it just a little bit and saying you know I just whatever the case is okay so I'm going to bring these up for you because you have here protection and also that came up with like a uh, Gabriel I got that same sort of feeling I feel like your spirit team if I may your guides it, you not only are getting that like how do they say the glow up or whatnot but you're getting like a ghost up as well so there's more people paying attention to you but there's also more protection coming in from the realms um, and something also about, give me a moment. I know this is an awkward angle. It's not, not pleasant. Okay. They're like house spirits. This is my house stained by the very blood flowing through its walls, covered in a veil of delicious prayers, yet deadly to those who dare lift its, its hidden. See, that's, it's making me feel like, again, that uh, I got a weird ringing in my left ear um tolerance I just heard the word timid I don't I don't know what that is black hat seven might be standing out to you <clears throat> there's a curious journey into the depths of the unknown hidden so deep that only the brave will gracefully return with light in their eyes and shadow leading home I'm back to home I feel very well at home here Okay, 
sorry, I didn't mean to leave, leave that on. Uh, cause everything is leading me to a new standard. So here's the funny thing. It's like, I am lowering the bar of tolerance to create a reservation of time that benefits both sides, if I may, as I'm raising the bar for something else, someone else, no, something else. Maybe it's another project or a side hustle, but I feel like it's where you're at and it's because I'm moving on up. What's that song I'm hearing? I don't know the words. I don't know. Do you know the words? Like, I know I know the song somewhere, but there are no words in my head. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. See, I'm getting, see, now I'm all in it. I'm in it. And it's bringing me into the spider. What a wild web we weave. I also want to note that the black cat spoke of the home, which brought me to protection, but the black cat also spoke of the journey into the depths of the unknown and bringing into the journey card. And then you have the movement here with the horse that came up in the beginning. And I understand that you didn't get to see it, but I did, but it also came up with the, the person on the horse on t picking two paths. And I feel like one is favored for you. One is favored. And you're starting to like turn time, like tick tock, tick tock. It's like it was midnight forever. It's, it's, you know, the strike of midnight. And then suddenly, okay, thank you. In the show, once upon a time, they have like the big clock and it stopped at some, for whatever reason, you don't need to worry about it if you haven't seen the show. But when somebody else returned, it was the girl so like Snow White's daughter, whatever, and Prince Charming, she came back to this town and then suddenly, tick, and then time unfroze. This is what this feels like. Spider, what a wild web we weave, dear child. A delicious, delicious mystery untamed. And then you have the pumpkin. Of course, you know the drill. Please see, sense, and feel for yourself first, but I appreciate the space being held for my yammerings. The midnight, midnight is that in Cinderella when it, things go back, back to normal. See, mm -mm. I did it, it, it went tick, over midnight one and actually everything lit up and unfroze. It didn't go back to the way it was up, up, up. <sighs> Capricorns. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add on a few tarot cards here. I will see you soon or, or later on in February anyway, and we'll flip this bookmark and hopefully I'll be able to either uh, get them up on the YouTube store or somewhere, probably as a set uh, if you're interested, but nonetheless. Okay, let's get, yeah, see there's some working hard, working hard, eat of garlic flowers. There's a the nail in the coffin you can't, there's if i could turn back time there's so much singing and i apologize because i'm not a good singer but i belt it out anyway i have put the last nail in a coffin it's it's like great right, the midnight thing and it's not 11 59 midnight 11 59 midnight because there's a little bit of a groundhog day but it seems like in this like second dun 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 Da -da. It's like I can see the minute, but that minute maybe is a decade from 11.59 to midnight. And then all the seconds in between and all the microseconds and all it's wild. Like in this one minute, it goes from micro to macro very, very quickly, but it keeps going back and forth. And I've made a choice. Tick, tick, tick. And I'm, I'm, st I'm going up. I'm going up. Okay. Thank you. So where was I up here? Because I'm seeing this like the hammer that he's holding, but I'm actually seeing it as a drill. Not only am I hammering this thing done, it's it's done.
I'm also feel like I'm giving something back to the earth element for the experiences that I've had. Yes. Yes. Like in this coffin, like it's like seeing something being buried, but it's not being buried. It's, it's being, um, what's that? I don't know if this is an old version, old version of you or, or what it is, but it's for new growth. Like it's going to replenish the soil. Do you know what I mean? Like need time again, time time also some of you might be working with a time capsule for your family or even for your business something along that lines i want to come back to this pumpkin in just a moment because they're the masculine and feminine energies whether this is in your relationship or relationship within the self they're both working in their own ways being very reflective of what i'm letting go of what i see it's funny it's not this traditional like just let go this feels and I'm not saying that in a wispy way on purpose this feels like I have dealt with something I have dealt with someone me and through that the some things can start to to move a little bit because your work and efforts are going up but that it's almost like in harmony, I'm going to release. Again, it's not bury like I'm covering or ignoring. I've done the work. And I'm. it's like I'm ready for the next phase, especially with uh, Memento Mori here. And it's like you you remember, you, you don't need to keep all these things. Maybe it's even about things. You're going through drawers or whatever this is. But there seems to be less things for you to take care of in your time because more things are going to come in in relation to this growth or this glow up so you have to like clear things out but you've done it you've donated the clothes you've cleaned out the car you, whatever whatever it is both energies archetypes are on the same page but it's like one's the paper, one's the pen or the ink. Sorry. So in this, I feel like now I'm yelling. It's interesting. See, it's like that sternness that, but no, it's like matter of fact. It's matter of fact. Because with this ace of garlic flowers and this pumpkin, this is what it's for. And I can honor past decisions, past ways I've done things because I understand them. But I want to come back to, okay, so I want to come back to The Mask, the movie The Mask with Jim Carrey. And it was like, booga, or something along with the cartoon characters as well. But then there's also something about The Mask and it made me feel like I think in the movie, like it made me, or that was the depiction of it, like he was more more and you I think you're like in the more now it's how I'm seeing it I'm in the more now I'm also seeing like a is that sawdust or something I think it's sawdust I think there's also someone or something trying going to come forward to you. They feel incarnate. And they are going to expect a reaction from you. Expectations aren't great. Um, but I feel like okay, time, time, some, some, some time has passed. But they see you now doing this and it's like they want a bloom or maybe they're just very supportive and excited for you about the bloom but I feel like they were part of before this whatever's in this coffin whatever's in this chest treasure ch no it's not treasure chest 
They might have been there for that. And now they might be coming towards you for a bloom, but uh, I don't know. And then I want to come into the pumpkin as I'm getting ready to close out because I realize I've been yammering excessively. Pumpkin. Uncaging the spirit within thou, the th fertile powers, fertile power you hold. To taste your buttery velvet upon tongue is a gift I shall cherish each day that comes. You've, you know what it's like? It's like those that can take the bud off a plant that's growing and create more from it. Like, I, you know, seeing it, uh, like, I think it's like a tomato plant or jalapeno. I'm seeing, yeah, for me, I'm seeing a jalapeno plant. And you see all the flowers and you know that's going to be the, the fruits that one will bear. And it, yeah, just be mindful if anyone's like trying to pick off your blooms. Uh, sorry, Capricorns, one moment. There's somebody in spirit that has passed. Female. Feminine energy, female expressed. And she cherishes what you've grown. She might have been a widow. She helps whatever it is that you focus on. So I think that's why time's coming back in. It's not about measuring for success or failure necessarily or productivity in the traditional sense. I get I want to carve out a little bit of time in there. Okay, Capricorns, one last look if there's anything standing out to you, please feel well to to comment, like, share, subscribe uh with the squirrel. I will end off here with your squirrel. There you go. Squirrel the squirrel spirit brings energy, adaptability, and joy. Squirrels work diligently to prepare for the winter, but stop often to play. <laughs> Your squirrel spirit teaches to prepare for the future, take only what is needed, and to find the balance between work and play. I feel like this is always the way with, with us Capricorns. <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. Let there be play as well. Capricorns, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for being my muse. Uh, please do give this a like, share, and subscribe if it resonated, inspired, or irritated equally. I am so grateful for your attention and awareness, and may you have met a message with meaning. Until next time, where we will flip it, and we'll do it again later on in February. Thank you. You are my haunted heart. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. Na, 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 na. I don't know. I really don't know the song.